Hi everyone, welcome back to Electronics Geek. I wish you a very very happy Independence Day and I hope you all are doing great. So today we have a great opportunity and that is coming from Qualcomm. So basically Qualcomm is hiring for the post of Design Verification Engineer and the salary here you can expect in between 10 to 16 lakh per annum and it may vary depending upon your experience and interview and the job location is going to be Chennai so both fresher and experienced candidate can easily apply for this application and talking about the eligibility criteria so you should have a bachelor's degree in computer science electrical electronics or related fields yani ki isme b b tech wale yahan pe eligible rahenge from the computer science electrical and electronics okay so let's see the job role and responsibilities basically what your work will be as a design and verification engineer so basically as a design verification engineer you will work with the fast paced integrated wireless technology means here you will be working on the wireless technology which includes the arm based soc infrastructure and here you will also be responsible for ip design and you will also conduct the high and mid or low level design review so this is going to be a work basically here you will working on the wireless project so uh, if you have the good knowledge of communication department as well then it will be plus for you particularly for this particular domain and talking about the skills requirement here is you should have a decent knowledge in wireless connectivity uh, that is ieee 802.11 abcd okay so these are the configuration so if you have these knowledge then you guys have a as over the other candidate who don't have this knowledge so you guys can gather this knowledge it's just a ieee paper you guys can uh, look into the google you will get all the documents there so you guys can read out that and other than that you should also have the knowledge of soc architecture including the gpu and the communication peripherals multi-domain clocking bus interconnection structure and power management these are the basics and most important topic for particularly for this uh, domain and it will be plus if you have the knowledge of as i said wireless and the mobile communication or the information theory coding theory signal processing so these are very important part for particularly for this particular job because uh, this is a design and verification engineer but you will be working on the wireless domain so here you will be designing the ic related to the wireless like uh, there we have bluetooth we are there we have a ethernet connection right so like this we should also have this wireless connection devices so for that you should have the good knowledge of the communication domain as well if you are really passionate about this wireless i think then you should also explore the wireless the communication department here we have the more work right now like we are into the 5g now it will come to the 6g then 7g like this uh, we have to explore it right we have to research it we need to make the devices for that so that is why it is very important as a wireless engineer to look into the communication aspect as well so that uh, we can grow in all all the domains not just in the hardware domains okay so if you have these skills or if you have this knowledge then you guys can easily apply and just update these things in your resume so that the chance of getting the shortlist will be higher so the link will be in the description as well as in the comment section from there you guys can easily apply so once you click on the link given the description you will be directed to the electronicsgeek.com here you will get all the details and here when you scroll down here we get how to apply for qualcomm recruitment 2024 and here you will get the apply link just click on click here to apply to apply for this position and for more updates you guys can also join our telegram group and whatsapp group in telegram group we also do a weekly q a session where you guys can ask your doubts related to the career vlsi embedded uh, cyber so anything related to the electrical electronics the link will be in the description for the telegram link so you guys can also join that so let's see how you can fill out this application form just click on click here to apply you will be directed to the official website now here click on apply now so first you need to drop your resume here okay so once you drop your resume the application form will appear now most of the basic details will automatically get filled through your resume and it will save your time so whenever you get the chance to apply for the job through your resume so please do apply for that because it will save your time like you don't have to write your name last name mail id phone number it will automatically get filled through your resume and here when you scroll down here we get some previous work experience uh, so this is not required at all so if you're a fresher you don't need to fill out this just scroll down here you need to fill out your gender and here you have a position location so here from here you can select i'm applying for both uh, united states and all okay so next just select no and below this just select yes and here just scroll down here you will get the consent just click on consent and click on submit application it's very easy to submit the application form and very easy application form just you need to upload your resume and add your basic details that's it okay just submit your application form and the application form will get submitted and you will receive the confirmation mail from the company your application is successfully get submitted and you will receive the further mail from the company only if your resume gets sorted make sure whenever you add your resume you should update it according to the job requirement or job skills requirement 
so that the chance of getting the shortlisting will be higher okay and apart from this if you have any question or anything in mind do let me know in the comment section and from the next week onwards we will be starting the vlsi roadmap so just stay tuned for that all the best and keep playing for the job i will see you in the next video till then take care stay safe bye bye